Is Dragon Nest dead? We're gonna find that out in this video. We're also gonna do an overview, check out the updates, the cash up, the monetization, the features, and what's happening to Dragon Nest nowadays. Where can you play? And we're gonna do a Dragon Nest gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. Dragon Nest is an action, anime, MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Welcome back, Saviors. GH here. Before we play the game from the beginning, first, what is Dragon Nest? It's an MMORPG with a focus on instance based dungeon gameplay. In Dragon Nest, you can embark on quests and missions, engaging in fast paced combat against various enemies and bosses. You can also explore dungeons alone or with a group to challenge yourself and acquire better gear. Test your skills against other players in PvP modes, customize your character's appearance and equipment, and interact with the game's community, participating in crafting, enhancing gear, and enjoy occasional mini games and events for unique rewards. Going to the Dragon Nest website, they describe their game as the world's fastest action MMORPG. Now, one of the highlights of Dragon Nest is its engaging boss raids, where players must coordinate strategies to overcome challenging encounters with epic bosses. These raids provide a sense of accomplishment as players work together to defeat formidable foes. Additionally, Dragon Nest offers various PvP modes, allowing players to compete against each other and test their skills in intense battles. These highlights provide exciting and dynamic gameplay experience for Dragon Nest players. Now, Dragon Nest was first released in Korea on March 2010 and it's developed by Identity Games, a South Korean developer of online games and the Dragon Nest IP is pretty much the only thing they are working on. And upon its release, Dragon Nest received generally positive reception from players and critics alike. The game was praised for its fast-paced action combat, engaging boss battles, and visually appealing graphics. Players also appreciated the game's emphasis on skill-based gameplay and the ability to perform intricate combos. However, some players felt that the game's storyline and questing aspects were relatively generic compared to other MMORPGs. Overall, the game's release was met with enthusiasm, with many players enjoying its combat mechanics and cooperative raiding features. And of course, like every other MMORPGs, there were also players that were concerned about the monetization. Now, Dragon Nest implements a free-to-play model with monetization options that includes cosmetic items with stats, pets with stats, premium potions, and items designed to accelerate progression. This feature allows players to acquire tangible gameplay advantages through purchases potentially impacting the balance between free and paying players. While the game still offers core content accessible to all players without payment, it's important to be aware that certain items in the cash shop can provide advantages in terms of character performance and progression speed. That said, it's also important to note that Dragon Nest throughout the years have been less grindier and less grindier over the years, and leveling a character to max can take a day or a few hours because of the updates it's been receiving. Now here's an update on what's happening to Dragon Nest nowadays. The game continues to host regular events, providing players with opportunities for unique challenges and rewards. And in terms of major updates, as of June 2023, Dragon Nest is preparing for an update that introduces new invaders and new ancient weapons. This update aims to bring fresh content and expanded gameplay options for players to explore. For a more detailed information and specific release dates, it is recommended to visit the official Dragon Nest website for the latest news and updates. And to answer the question, is Dragon Nest dead? How's the population? Is there people to play with? If you ask me, look at this. Here's the hub. This is where players hang for the most part. And as you see, there's a bunch of players interacting, waiting in front of NPCs and raid dungeons and going about their own quests. So if you ask me for a 2010 MMORPG, this is very active. All channels have players in them. Now, to show you more of the features and what the game has to offer, let's go play the game from the start. Let's go play the game. Okay guys, here's the character creation. Here goes the classes over here. We got the warrior. If I remember correctly, this is the first class that I used when the game was released. Next class over here is the archer. We got the sorceress over here. Then cleric, academic, Kali, assassin, lancea, machina, thandar. Okay, next page is the dark avenger, silver hunter, arc heretic, black mara, ray mechanic, oracle elder, Bleed Phantom and Vina Plaga. Okay, so we're gonna play as a what? Let's go to the first page. Okay, we're gonna play as an assassin. Maybe a warrior. I kind of want to remember this. Yeah, let's go play as a warrior. Create. And here goes the character customization, guys. Server to create. Reef. There's only Reef. Now, here goes the character appearance customization. How many heads? 
four heads. Okay, let's pick this one. How many faces? I'm assuming it's also four. Oh, it's three. And there goes the color at the bottom, color of the face, and then eye color over here. Now for the costume customization, you can buy costumes in here. So it, this part doesn't matter that much. Okay, how many top? Three tops, three bottoms, three gloves, and three boots. Okay, name our character. Create. And we are in the game, guys. Movement, WSD, spacebar to jump. Okay, so before I tell you what you need to do, we gotta get over this part over here because you can't really progress that much until you do this tutorial over here. So let's go. Attack these enemies over here. Pick up items, picking up tutorial, talk to this NPC over here, Rose Pendant, and we are at Prairie Town. Okay, so this is the important part, guys. I kind of remember what I did here a few years ago, and I hope it works. Okay, so open up our bag for beginner support boxes. We got weapons over here, and that's about it. A pendant. Okay, let's equip this. Nope, we can equip the pendant. So if I remember correctly, you need to type God Game Dragon Nest. So there it goes. When you enter this on the chat, you're gonna get an achievement and it's gonna give you rewards. Probably items that's gonna help you progress in the game like armors and all those good stuff. Okay, let's enter this. And as you see, we got the achievement and we got a mail. So let's open up this mail over here and get the rewards. What's the rewards? Okay, there's a box. Just retrieve it. Check our bag. There goes our bag. We got the box over here. Open this. Yes. And we got some stuff. This is important hero blood, sweat and tear. In the late game. Okay, so we can't use this stuff. What's happening here? Where's the armors? Okay, so how about let's use the emotes. I remember also using the emotes here. When you use the emotes, you're also gonna get an achievement, which is gonna give you rewards. Okay, so let's use the emote over here, guys. This one, this laugh. When you use this, you're gonna have an achievement. Okay, so let's use it. And our character is now laughing. As you see, we got an achievement. So let's check our mail again. Let's see if this is the armors. Is this the armors? Nope. It's a ring. What is happening here? Where's the armors? <laughs> Where's the armors, guys? Okay, let's wear that ring. I think this is gonna make us overpowered anyway. I don't think we need the armors. Where's the armors? Okay, we got another mail. What's happening here? We need to equip the ring before we get... What is this? I think this is the armor. Okay, there it goes. Retrieve. Open up our bag. And look at this, guys. There's somebody playing over here. This game is very active, by the way. This is not dead or a uh, niche MMO. There's a lot of people playing this. Okay, so we got the costume box. And where is it? It's in the cache. Miscellaneous, open this up. And we got new costumes. So before we wear it, how about let's look at our character. Let's see if we're changing appearance when we're equipping gears. Open up our bag again. Let's equip the rings. What is this? Okay, equip everything. As you see, guys, we're changing appearance as we equip gears. We got a wing and a tail for some reason. And next is the armors. And there it goes. We're fully decked out. And we got an owl. Okay, so we got those stuff. We're good to go. So as for the leveling guide, guys, just focus on the main quest. If you focus on the main quest and keep doing the easy mode dungeons, you're gonna level up very fast in a day, maybe, I don't know, four hours. If you're really focusing on it, you can get to the max level very quick. You can get to level 90 plus very quick. So let's talk to this mayor over here. He's gonna give us a quest and also a tutorial. If I were you, just skip the tutorial. But if you're new to the game, okay, you might as well try it out. But we're not gonna do the tutorial here because it, this is gonna take a while. So we're gonna skip that tutorial. Okay, so now we need to talk to Timothy in Shadow Forest Trail. Shadow Forest Trail. Okay, let's open up the map. I think it's here. Wind Forest. Okay, let's go to the Wind Forest. As you can see, this is just the beginning. Look at this. There's a lot of people creating a new character. Because if I remember correctly, I think it's the achievements. It's gonna give you good rewards. Okay. Anyway, let's go to the Wind Forest. Okay. This is a heavily instance MMORPG. There's a world here. This is not like a hub MMO. We're in there's only a hub and then you enter an instance. There's a lot of instance in here, but there's also a world here. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. To follow the quest, guys. Hey, wait a minute. There's supposed to be an arrow here. Okay, anyway, we need to talk to Timothy in Shadow Forest Trail. Let's just open up the map and look for the Shadow Forest Trail. Okay, there we go. Shadow Forest Trail. We need to go over there. Let's go. So just pick easy mode and then enter. And we're in the Shadow Forest Trail. There goes Timothy. He's hiding. Talk to I Timothy. Take my duty seriously. Continue. This game is pretty weird. Sometimes the NPCs would talk in Korean, but sometimes the NPCs would also speak English. Okay, anyway, let's do this dungeon. Let's go. Test out the skills. As you can see, guys, we're super overpowered, so we're gonna do this quest very quick. 
eliminate these monsters over here. You just keep doing and doing the main quest. Just do it on easy mode so it's gonna be easy. So you're gonna progress faster. And there we go. So just follow the arrow. Go to the trail. More enemies over here. Can we do a slam attack? Nope. Which the skills are very overpowered. We hit them one time. And they're dead. Eliminate them. Oh yeah, combat. As you can see guys, combat is action. This is one of the earliest action MMO. Blood, sweat, and tears. That's very important guys. At the end game. For now, don't think about it. Use that skill. I'm lagging the third skill. Where's the boss? This is kind of like your typical hub MMO. Wherein you enter an instance. Destroy waves of monsters. And then at the end, there's a boss. Boss fights in here are very fun. But early on, of course, everything's gonna be easy. But when you get to the end game, boss fights becomes really fun. Okay, there goes the boss. Let's one hit him. <laughs> Boom, he's dead. And that's Dragon Nest in 2023. It's not dead yet. They're still logging in and playing. Now, if you don't like the mainstream MMOs, you should try this one out. It's free. And guys, do you want to see the latest free-to-play MMORPG news? There it goes on the screen. Give a like before you go. And this is Game Hardcore. See you in the next one.